To be a winner, we have to know the plays. Let's go inside Team Data's playbook and learn the vocabulary and game plans that will help us understand how students are learning. There are a lot of big words and fancy acronyms educators toss around when it comes to communicating how students learn. That's one way to talk. But Team Data wants to make sure all of our players understand the meaning behind the big words and acronyms so we can understand. Let's turn to the playbook. AIMS-WEB is a brief screening assessment that measures overall performance of key foundational skills at each grade level and draws upon over 30 years of scientific research. AIMS-WEB assessments have been found to be an accurate way to predict student achievement in reading and math and gives teachers information about how students are progressing. Progress monitoring happens on a regular basis after a benchmark assessment has been completed. Progress monitoring is a quick assessment to gather data to drive the instructional strategies that teachers use with students to monitor their growth. An academic intervention is a strategy used to teach a new skill, build fluency in a skill, or encourage a child to apply an existing skill to new situations or settings. The rate of improvement is a projected amount of growth measured by progress monitoring while interventions are in place for a student. Tier 1 includes all students receiving instruction in reading and math during the core reading and math instructional blocks of time. Tier 2 includes students needing an additional 30 minutes of supplemental instruction on top of core instructional blocks. And Tier 3 includes students needing an additional 60 minutes of intensive instruction on top of core instructional blocks. Isn't learning a new language fun? With those words in mind, Let's talk about how those words help us understand how students are learning. The Pathway Report shows students' performance data for each administration of the benchmark assessment. Located on the right-hand side of the report is a key that will help us interpret the data. The blue dot shows the performance level of the student on this particular benchmark assessment. The target is the goal for this assessment. The green box is considered the average range for this assessment. Students falling within the orange line are considered below average for this target and are considered for Tier 2 or Tier 3 interventions. Students falling within the blue line are above average for this target and are considered for enrichment. I know this is a lot of information to take in, so let's take another look at how to interpret this information. The blue dot is where the students scored on the assessment. This particular student fell within the average range. The blue line on the graph represents a student that is performing above average and would be considered for enrichment. If the student's dot fell within the orange line, they would be performing below average and would be considered for Tier 2 or Tier 3 interventions. This slide is an example of a student who scored below average in the fall. Therefore, they were placed in a skill-specific intervention. As you can see, by spring, the student made progress after receiving interventions and weekly progress monitoring. Seem like a lot to remember? Sure it is if it's not part of our everyday understanding, but team data is all about making our data come alive. Understanding the data will help all of us understand what our students know and where there may be some learning gaps we need to fill. Understanding the data eliminates any guessing about what we need to do at school and at home to help our students achieve. And the great thing about our playbook is that it includes more than just the data on Ames Web, progress monitoring, interventions, rate of improvement, and Tier 1, 2, and 3. We're also capturing data about student behavior and attendance. We want you to have a complete picture of how your child is performing. We know that attendance can have a dramatic effect on student achievement. All students need to be at school every day on time to make sure they have the opportunity to learn the content that is being taught. And if a student is having behavior concerns, they also might be spending time out of the classroom and missing important instruction. So now you know our winning game plan. A strong playbook combined with our families and teachers working together as teammates. It all adds up to a laser-like focus on winning for our students. Are you ready, team?